Right, I said I'd gonna do a bit of a video on the, the Cell Robox Dual, but <laughs> it's not a video on it printing because um, it seems that it's got two filaments in. Um, it's got the poly support and an orange PLA and every time I come to use it one of the filaments which is normally the orange PLA it says it's run out of filament and it hasn't so you eject it in order to put it back in but every time you eject it on this what it does do is it jams in the extruder not the extruder sorry um, uh, sorry yeah the extruder here there's two obviously for dual film and there's a there's two inputs there and the slide now it's broken one of the I know what it is you can't force the, the new filament back in again because the PLA goes very brittle when it's trying to eject it it breaks it's it's done this on me six times and I've printed about three models from it uh, I'm now in the process of if to remove the extruder and then clear it out manually um, Fortunately, it's not stuck in the head this time um, so it's not going very well so um, in order to get into that you pull a plastic cover off which is held in by three clips at the top which you put it in that way and then push it in the two clips at the bottom and they're going to locate in holes three at the top two at the bottom the middle one is held by a little allen screw so once you take that out pop a screwdriver in to push these two lugs in and then you can lift this cover out. Once you've got the cover out then you have to extract these two. Um, what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and enable to manoeuvre the machine a bit more. Right I'm back again now. Um, what I've done is um, I'll just move you in a bit closer if I can. What I've done is, there's two slides here, one goes into the bottom extruder and one goes into the top, it's always the top. And I've removed seven screws, Allen screws, from here. Then you'll see when I pop this off, you can see that the filament you can see that the filament is in pieces inside here Look, it's all broke this oops see this leads me to believe that the filament if you leave it in the PLA goes brittle Look, it just snaps it doesn't off the reel it seems to be when it's left out in here um, I use PLA on the other machines and I don't get this problem it's snapping um, I don't do it on the poly support because it seems to be a bit more flexible but it does on that so it might well be that when you finish printing with it eject the filament you shouldn't have to do that you should be able to leave the filament in but we shall see whether it will it will load the, load the filament again right we're back again um, I just want to get you a bit closer if I can um, just bear with me Right, I hope you can see that a little bit better now. 
Right, first thing you've got to do is pull this off. This comes out of a slide there. Take that off. Then you've got to get this extruder out because it's blocked in here now. Um, so the first thing you do is pop the ribbon off from there. Once you pop the ribbon off, I always tuck it behind there, stop it damaging. Then you've an Allen screw to take out here. That, that, that actually holds your extruder in. Then extruder pulls out unscrew which is the PTF tube to your nozzles that is your extruder and you probably find out that if I try and push that in there that it is it's blocked in there and you find out that it's blocked inside so what you've got to do then is is you've got to take this apart once you've taken it apart that's your tension screw that's the that's the tension screw for your gear wheel your pressure on how much it's forcing your um, it grips your filament in order to push it through if you don't have too much on it, it'll slip. If you have too much on it, it what it tends to do is chew. Your filament up breaks it, makes it rough, and then when it tries to go into the nozzle, it makes it harder. So now we've got to take these off to take that off. Um, I'll go in the process of doing that now. Right, we're back again now. Um, I'll show you what I've done now. That is your top cap of your extruder. You can see it there. So you have screws to take out there, 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 there and there. And I always take the black screw out which holds your, it's obviously a, a sensor to tell you that your filaments run out. Um, so now when I take this off you'll see what the problem is there you go filament and that's it that's what causes the jam you've also to take out a little wheel there a little sorry screw with a spring on that's your tension which goes against, you can't take this off unless you take that out and that actually puts the roller on and gives you the tension on your drive sprocket which you can see there so your filament passes through those two that's your gear driven wheel but it doesn't pass through the gear wheel it passes through if you can see it the two nil note rollers inside you can see that um, there's two nail rollers at the back you can just just try and point them out there that's the nail roller the two gear wheels are the ones that drive it so don't be confused that your filament goes through that because it doesn't it goes through the back side so when you keep it in it gets brittle it tries to move it forward it must start to break it and then it, it'll force it through and it jams simple as that um, so it, it looks like that I'm going to have to I've done it as I say this is seventh time now now all right, it's not I know what I'm doing but it becomes a point where it just sort of for this amount of money for, you pay for these you know have a 4 max pro downstairs it's superb have an m200 not a problem 
this from day one has done this. Um, so now I've cleared it, I've got to put it all back together and install it back in there and then it'll feed the new film clip a bit of the filament off and clip it in so what I'm going to start to do now is eject the fil both filaments when I'm not going to use it for a while instead of leaving it in the machine you shouldn't have to do that but um, anyway now I'm going to start to put it back together right back again what I've done is these are the screws that I've just put back in one two three four five that holds that body on onto that unit I take that out to stop damaging it you don't have to but that's the black screw it's a different sized on key um, but that will not lift off unless you take that out which is that one now what I do that's got a spring on that puts tension onto your your drive wheels or one drive wheel one's fixed one's got tension on so what I do is I screw it right in it's right in now there's a little mark on the screwdriver there and I back it off one and a quarter turns that's it and that seems to be I've tried all different ways but that seems to be fine for that you need a little bit of bump space for it to to move out otherwise you find out it, it doesn't it chews the end off uh, and then that just you've got to then screw this back on like that push that back through there and you can just see this lip here and that one there goes into two grooves and that's it back in You've then got to put your flat ribbon in and be extremely careful with this the flat ribbon because the flat ribbon is as you can see there the flat ribbon goes in that little slot there and it's very easy to damage that so I tend to just start it off with a corner and then just gently ease it down that puts that in then you've got to remember there's only one screw in that holds this in and that goes in that it's like a half a hole but what it does do is is hold down that stops this coming out then that you simply start in the two slots there there's a slot there inside of that and you push it in that's it that doesn't screw in <clears throat> this is the cap that screws on but the reason why I had to take that off normally you can pull that out the reason I had to take that off is because the filament was inside here so you can't pull it out because it's actually wedging it in so rather than bit of plastic you take the front off this is just held in by so many of these that's it you could actually put this on outside but I find it easy to do it there because it's a bit uneven and don't put them all in the same side even them out there's quite a few so As I say, it's it's not a cheap printer. This you should not have to do this. Maybe it's a bad batch of um, filament. I don't know. It's a filament I got with it. You get two spools, um, but it seems awfully brittle. As you can see, it just it, not it's broke. So so that's put that back on now. That's in all fire fastened up. I'll show you how the cover goes on now. Right, you put the 
top in first which locates it inside there some pegs for it to go in you can hear it clipping and then you've got some at the bottom just push them with your fingers a bit and that'll clip in like that that goes round then underneath you've got one allen screw and I'll show you that and that goes in there And that's it back on so now it's a simple case of connecting it back up putting the real spool back on and feeding the filament in and then we're good to go again so just thought I'd show you this <laughs> I didn't expect to show this video yet I was going to do it um, just to show you how to do it that they actually uh, jammed on me so I had no other option so I thought it's a good chance to do it so um hope you found it interesting for those cell robots fans um and i'll speak to you again soon bye